Yeah, it's so cool. Look. He's being very patient, isn't he? For love, baby. He's so serious. <laughs> And I don't go past those wires. He doesn't want us to. It's for safety. Safety first. Jack, have you ever rode one of those? Yeah. You, you rode a dinosaur though, didn't you? You might after today. <laughs> Emma, what do you think about this? What is that? Tiger? Liam, what is that? Dad! Yep, yeah, exactly. A lion. No, it's a tiger, Mom. I mean, a tiger. I'm like, like Liam's right. Look at that picture. Oh, wow. Oh, that's good. Dude. Alright, this tiger here in front of us is Mackenzie. He is Holy our seven year old <laughs> male and more tiger. Y'all walk over here. Get over there, closer. He's been with us for about a year and a oh, half, sorry, almost two years, coming out this next spring. Oh my goodness. Damn, see him, I'll get over here. The can don't know. He is 385 pounds. And we, uh, he currently, uh, today, as of today, he's getting 14 pounds of food, but starting here probably tomorrow or the next day, he's going to start getting 16 pounds small. of food a day. We do adjust the amount of food that they get wow. during the year. So sometimes in the summertime, they're a little hungrier, or not, not quite as hungry. Whereas in the wintertime, they, are, they want to put on a little extra weight, and they uh, get a little... Now what you're seeing Sam do here is he's asking him to do different behaviors. Those behaviors are all part of our training program to help us to take better care of these animals. Right now, Mackenzie was actually presenting his shoulder, which is something one of the other keepers is working on teaching him how to do. Now eventually she'll be able to ask, we'll all be able to ask if we can give it to him ourselves versus the gun. Now, one of the behaviors that Sam is working on teaching him is how to roll over. And uh, that behavior is a fun behavior, but it, it also helps show their confidence in us. He knows that we're not going to do anything bad to him because uh, presenting the belly is a very sensitive spot for them. So anytime they present that belly, they're telling us they trust us enough to do that. Now he also knows several other behaviors. He knows how to sit, stand up, put both pads of his feet on the mesh so that we can take a look at his feet, make sure he doesn't have any cracks or injuries to his feet. He can open his mouth so we can take a look at his teeth and his gums. All of these different behaviors allow us to have a better relationship. Says his frustration sometimes. Just like us, when you're trying to learn something new and you don't quite get it, you get a little frustrated. Well, this is Mackenzie's version of frustrated. He's trying to figure out what Sam wants him to do. And Sam's doing a really great job of being very patient and not reacting to the frustration because you don't want to give in to that frustration. Eventually, Mackenzie will calm down. And if he wants to stick around and do this, he will. If he doesn't want to stick around, he can leave at any time. Now, uh, Mackenzie is an Amor tiger. Amor tigers are the largest of all the tiger species. Males can get up over 600 pounds, which makes them the largest of all the cat species total. Now, there's only about 500 of these guys left in the water, so we are in a holding pattern with them. We do have a female, but currently she is not going to ever be bred again. We did try breeding her with our, our past male. Unfortunately, she was able to get pregnant, but not carry her pregnancies to full term. So it was decided that in her, in her best interest, we would not try to force that on her anymore. So we're, we're going to keep hold of her. and. We, 
The male that she was with at the time uh, got sent to, back to Omaha where he was born, and he's got three cubs on the ground right now. So that was a really nice thing for him to go back home and have some more babies out there. And we got McKenzie here because McKenzie's not needed for breeding right now. He's got several relatives out there. You may see another type of tiger here at our zoo today. If you're in the islands exhibit, you might see a Sumatran tiger. And you will notice a very big difference. That the dip biggest difference is the size. The Sumatran tiger over there right now is about the female. And the Sumatran tigers are the smallest of the tigers you'll see. So you're going to see a big difference between our big boy, the Kenti here, and their little small girl tiger. Some of the other differences you might see between the Sumatran and the Amor Tiger. The Amor Tiger.